Hello students. After a very long time, we are back with the subject of uh, manufacturing process two, which is for the fourth semester mechanical engineering. We have started very earlier this time because uh, for the last time there was a query regard from the students that they did not get the proper time for the preparation at the because of the we are we were providing the video at the last time. So here we are for the manufacturing process two. So for the manufacturing process two. there are particular five units uh, in the syllabus that uh, i will show you yes here you can see on the screen that there are total manufacturing process metal casting process metal joining process metal shaping forming plastic ceramic and uh, glass processing but uh, as we know that most of the gtu students are using the local publication books so in the local publication books uh, they have divided this five units in the seven particular chapters so we will start with the first chapter that uh, the first chapter is the introduction in the introduction there are two question that state various criteria for the selection of the manufacturing process and also also discuss about the significance of this criteria uh, here i want to say that this time i have not provided the uh, question like this uh, question is most important or this question is very important but because this time you have the very much amount of the time for the preparation if you are going through the uh, uh, one chapter in the one day then you can uh, complete the whole syllabus in a particular a week so you have enough time before the exam so this time i will not provide any type of uh, most important question or something like that so you have to go through the whole question bank uh, which i will provide throughout the video so these are the two questions for the first chapter introduction part that define manufacturing process and list various manufacturing process and explain them for the second chapter foundry technology one we have in this chapter there will be particular part for the sand molding only so about the pattern uh, pattern allowance classification of molding sand with its properties core print and what is its purpose explain the two course with need sketch or they can ask a particular type of course from this chapter so you have to go through the whole part of course then the for the chapter 3 foundry technology 2 casting properties explain with need sketch types of gating system used in the casting explain function of gating system what are chills give the function of chills explain cupola furnace with need sketch explain various casting defects so discuss their possibilities uh, possible for the uh, causes be, be behind those defects and how can we avoid that, those defects difference between shell and sand casting explain precision investment casting method with the help of the sketch explain the centrifugal centrifugal casting methods for the fourth chapter metal joining process these are particular question that explain various methods joining process along with the type of welding process describe the types of flame in oxyacetylene foam or anything else they can ask electrode coating these are the types of welding uh, processes so they can ask any of the welding process from this T uh, or they can ask for for the difference of T and MIG welding something like that. Particularly if they are going for the seven marks question, you should be prepared for the laser beam welding and electron beam welding. List the various defects occurred in the welding and explain three of them. Explain gas welding process with net sketch and the state advantages and limitations of that. Chapter five metal forming process. Explain hot working and cold working working process in that advantages and disadvantages of that uh, hot working and cold working. or they can ask the difference from for the hot working and cold working so you have to be prepared for particular question what are the factors which affect the plastic deformation principle of rolling process and defects in the rolled products explain different types of rolling mills and list various types of process used in the forging and explain it with net sketch forging defects explain wire drawing and the tube drawing with the net sketch compare direct and indirect extrusion and explain the concept of squeezing here i want to tell that whenever i am telling that the particular hot working or the cold working process you should be clear about the particular fundamental of hot working and the cold working these are the questions uh, like uh, if they are going to ask us some questions from hot working they can ask the some uh, they can ask or make some questions like this but uh, it will not i cannot be uh, tell surely that uh, they will ask this question only they can ask for any question on the basis of fundamental and fundamental which is used by that hot working or cold working processes so you should be go through the fundamentals or hot working and cold working processes so if they are asking they, they will ask any questions from those hot working and cold working part 
you can answer it easily uh, like uh, if they are going for the forging defects then you should know about the forging process uh, how the forging process is being done on the machines or anything else and uh, forging defects so you should be clear about all the parameters of the forging so uh, it will be easy for you to pass the examination like this if you are going through just these questions yes you can pass the exam but if you will go through the method like if uh, i am telling that explain hot working then you should be prepared for the hot working if they are going for the any questions from the hot working you are able to answer it so uh, that, that is what i want to tell uh, for the chapter 6 sheet metal operations coining embossing piercing drawing punching and blanking important part effect of spring back in the bending process i don't think that you need to give much amount of time from the sheet metal operation uh, this particular part uh, or questions are enough uh, if you are going for the particular process punching and blanking bending process spring back process and piercing and drawing all the process uh, so i think uh, it is enough for this chapter uh, last chapter plastic ceramic and glass processes uh, for the difference between the thermosetting and thermoplastic explain the compression molding process explain transfer molding ejection molding and what are the limitation of injection molding explain the mo blow molding process state advantage and disadvantage and limitations uh, draw the various glass structures explain properties and application and glass manufacturing so these are total seven chapters uh, uh, and uh, from the five units that has been given in the syllabus already so you should go through the particular part of the all the chapters so it will be easy for you and uh, we have find out uh, that uh, in average uh, uh, every last year from the one to seven chapters that uh, there are one question from the chapter one they will ask for the seven marks two to three questions will be from chapter two two questions from the three third chapter uh, so if you want to get good marks in the examination you should go through the chapter number two three four and uh, five perfectly so it will help you to uh, cover almost uh, six to seven questions in the examination generally there are ten questions uh, so you can cover easily six to seven questions if you are going with the preparation of chapter second third fourth and fifth and uh, then chapter first is easy so you can get the bonus mark from the chapter first uh, 6 and 7 very less syllabus is, is there in that particular chapter so uh, from the uh, th second third fourth fifth chapter you can get uh, if you are able to answer around the five or six questions then other, uh, other from the chapter 1 6 and 7 whatever you are going to answer will be the bonus mark for you uh, so it we, it is very easy particular subject from which you can easily gather or capture the double a grade or a b grade from this subject and it is easy uh, so if you think it this video again helpful for you so please like share and subscribe we have got so many uh, response after the result of third semester and all the remedial uh, so it uh, previous videos were very helpful for the students and uh, i will provide the link in the uh, particular description for, for our facebook page so you can see the past papers analysis that in every paper analysis uh, uh, in the uh, past GTU examination we have done analysis on the every particular paper uh, for which we have given particular videos. So in every paper on an average we have got the questions in the particular paper for the around 45 to 60 marks in every paper in the MOS and ET and all the particular uh, subjects so if you have queries regarding the mechanical engineering subjects uh, you can whatsapp us on the particular numbers and you can again contact us through the facebook page and you can find so again if you find this video is helpful for you then please like share and subscribe as much as possible for our channel thank you again and thank you for your kind support thank you